Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the user side of the student portal. Like any other student portal, the student can view his academic details and other academic things which differ from college to college. This system allows the user to get hands on everything that the user wants from his timetable to his exam results to his books and to his test solutions. The user has to just put in his credentials to get all the services. The admin is responsible to add everything in the portal which will be covered in the admin part. The marks are displayed in the form of charts namely bar chart, line chart and pie diagram. Students cannot register themselves. The admin has to add a student and the student ID and the password will be emailed to the student. Let's see how it works. So once the student logins he is remembered the next time so he doesn't have to log in again and again so basically he has six modules here timetable schedule booklet test solutions video and marks so let's start with the timetable so as you click on timetable the screen orientation changes it goes to the landscape mode here you can see the timetable Likewise, you can zoom it. So either you can click back or just select home button. You will be redirected back to the home page. Let's click on schedule. It's the same. It is an image which is zoomable. So if you click on booklet, you will see a list of booklets which can be downloaded. The user adds the booklets on the server and if you click on the download icon the PDFs will be downloaded since this is just a dummy and there are no PDFs uploaded you can't see anything downloaded. Similar way with the test solutions you will see a list of test solutions which will be in the PDF format uploaded on the server. Let's click on the video. Here in the video section, there will be a video whose link will be given. And if you click on the video link, you will be automatically directed to the YouTube app or the browser. Let's select on marks. So under marks, there are four subcategories, weekly, university link, PT1 and PT2. Let's see weekly first. Here you will see your weekly report. The admin itself adds all the data according to the week. So as you can see and read, it says computer graphics week 2. So this is the week 2 report and this is the bar chart. Let's go back and select some other subcategory. Let's select PT1. So under PT1 you will see two charts, one is line chart and another is pie chart. So I will just explain you the line chart here. So, so as you can see below, four entities with different colors, grey depicts my marks, green average marks, blue top marks and red that says total. So that means. Gray is your marks that is and below in blue you can see the subjects name. So for database management system you secure 23. Green says average mark. So 23 is also the average marks of the whole class and top marks is 25. So if you zoom and if you see on the 25 the total marks is out of 25 and the top marks is also 25 so both comes on the same line and likewise for other subjects computer graphics network security operational research and software project management let's go to pie chart and if you go to pie chart you will see the same thing but here you will only see your marks Likewise, let's go to PT2. 
okay here it says reports are not available so the admin has not added any marks or any data under pt2 and if you click on university link you will be redirected to the university page and on the top right you will see your logout icon so if you click on it you will be logged out thank you welcome to admin part of student portal system here the authorized person or the admin can register student details into the system and manage multiple things using this web portal so let's log in with admin id so this is the dashboard of the admin part where he can access multiple modules like adding course, student, timetable, upload a book, upload a test solution, add a video link, add a schedule and also the marks achieved by the students. So let's first continue by adding the course. So admin need to specify the course name here. So let's say MCA, which semester, we'll say first semester and subjects in this semester. So let's add the subjects. So we have ended adding the subjects for semester 1. Let's add this course into the system. And the course is successfully added here into the database. Now the second module is add student. But admin can register the student name following with the email id, date of birth and basic registration details. So let's add a first name. Say it's a test demonstration. So we'll add a test name, email id. So here we have some email validations as you can see it says invalid email so and we need to correct the email id and proceed further. Now here admin need to select which course the student belongs to so here are some validations if we doesn't select any option that it's it shows a validation that kindly select any one option select your MCA and select the semester and we will click on add student so after clicking on add student if the email id already exists then it will show an error message here so admin need to re-enter the email id so the student detail has been added here so by clicking on submit button the system mails the user id and the password to the student's email id through which student can log in using the android app so let's check the third module that is add timetable here admin can upload the timetable for the selected courses so let's select mca as we have added the course earlier and select sem1 now we need to choose a file from a system and upload it in the database so that the students can access from the student portal android app so let's upload this timetable so the timetable has been uploaded successfully and we can check the uploaded timetable below here so moving on to next model that is upload book where admin can upload a book by selecting the course name semester and the name of the book so let's say web technology and admin need to choose a file that is only pdf file can be uploaded so let's open this file and click upload so it shows a success message that the book has been uploaded so we'll click ok moving to next module that is upload test solution where admin can upload the test solution of recently held test so that student could able to know the solution of the questions so let's select the course a name of the solution so let's say demo solution and choose a file so to check the validation of pdf if we upload a jpg image here and try to upload this image so it will show only document file that is dot pdf extension can be uploaded so admin need to select the pdf file itself and upload it so here the test solution has been uploaded successfully let's move on to next module that is add video link continue with selecting the course name and semester and the website name say www.linda.com 
as it's a very good website for all types of tutorials and here the example is shown below so we need to enter exactly same shown in the example so let's add http and click on upload so the link has been added successfully let's move on to the schedule part that is add schedule continuing with selecting the course name and semester choosing a file considering a timetable as a schedule only and upload it so the schedule has been uploaded here successfully let's move on to add marks now here we need to first select the course name for which the admin need to add the marks for the respective student now after selecting the course name we need to select the semester from which the student belongs to so let's select the semester 4 now here we need to select whether the test was taken on weekly basis or the PT1 or PT2. PT1 and PT2 is like adding marks of all the subjects and weekly is like adding a single subject mark. So let's first add weekly marks. Here we can get the name of the student. So let's select a name. Now here we get all the subjects belonging to semester 4. So let's select a subject here and here we need to select a week on which week the test has been held so let's select 6 and enter the marks so if admin tries to enter 26 that is beyond the limit and if he tries to add so it will show an error message that mark should not exceed 25 the mark should be entered here is less than 25 or equal to 25. Let's enter 25 here. That is full marks and click on add. So the student marks has been successfully added. Now we will add marks of all the subjects by selecting PT1 and select the name of the student and continue with adding the marks. So here is the subject name. Here and we need to enter the marks. So let's add so let's add 20 and let's click on add button so the student marks has been added here so as we have selected pt1 here we can see there is no students in the list as we have ended adding all the marks for the students so as soon as you add the marks for the particular student the entry is removed from the student list from here so it doesn't cause any replication of the student marks so same goes for pt2 so here the student name is listed here so we can select and continue with adding the marks so this is all about the admin part in the student portal system. Let's log out from here. Thanks for watching.